Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader, and today I'm going to talk to you about making reusable tissues. So, reusable tissues. I know you're probably like, what? <laughs> But yeah, do you remember back before COVID when everybody was scrambling to find tissues and toilet paper and paper towels? I really, I wasn't. I have shown you my pantry in one of my grocery haul videos, so you know that I'm pretty well stocked to begin with. But when everybody was saying that things could get really, really tight, um, I was not overbuying and I was not at all concerned. I wasn't one of those people that was going to Walmart and buying, you know, a whole truckload of toilet paper. I was definitely not doing that. <laughs> um, I had had these reusable tissues on hand even prior to COVID. And these things come in handy so much. <laughs> Now, why would I make reusable tissues? Most tissues have been bleached, right? So avoiding having that bleach on my face and on my kids and my husband's faces, that was a really great thing for me. Also knowing that these are so reusable that they can just get thrown in the washer and washed over and over and over again, kind of like a hanky. Um, I love that I idea personally. To me, this is not gross. This is old school mentality of reuse it, reuse it, reuse it, reuse it. And not just reuse it, but repurpose it. Because this was actually fabric that I had in my attic that I had used a long time ago for photography backdrops, to be honest. I, I studied as a photographer while I was in grad school. And um, while my kids were still tiny, I did photography here in my home. And um, I use this fabric as an Easter backdrop, I believe. So um, it's definitely not organic, but it was that reuse it mentality. So it's keeping the bleach off the face. It is reusing fabric that I already had in my attic. We also got to talk about the fact that it saves trees. Obviously, we are lessening our um, paper consumption by not buying so much, um, so many tissues. It's also um, a lot better for the environment because tissues are not getting thrown away. They're not causing pollution. We're not burning them. They're not getting flushed down the toilet and ending up in a septic system. Um, they just get tossed into the washer and they get washed and reused just like a handkerchief. So, like I said, I had um, found this fabric in my attic. I washed it really well, and then I just cut squares. And I used those zigzaggy scissors. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but it's the scissors that are zigzaggy. Um, I used those, and I did that so that the fabric wouldn't fray really badly. And after a wash or two, it stopped fraying. You can see it did fray a little, but it stopped after a while. So that's basically how it works. Um, if you want to get really fancy, you can take a an old baby, like a wipes box, and you can layer these in the wipes box, and then they'll pull up one after another, um, and they'll pop out just like a box of tissues, a regular box of tissues. And I did that for a while, especially when my kids are little. I just have a wipes box sitting out on the um, the little coffee table in the living room. My kids would go over and pop that white box open and pop out a, uh, a reusable tissue. And when they were done, they would just throw it in the washer. So that's what I did for that. Whenever they are dirty, for us, uh, we just threw them in the washer. We, we are homesteaders, we are farmers, we have animals. We have gotten to the point where we're not real like me icky about things. It's kind of just like throw it in and it'll get clean and it'll be good. <laughs> so oftentimes we just throw the reusable tissues right in the um, washer. And if we don't want to do that, I have this wet dry bag, a wet dry bag. So it can be used wet or dry on the inside. It's this fabric, 
this is actually really old I think I might need to get a new one of these but it's like um, waterproof material on the inside and it zips close closed I use that when my kids were in cloth diapers when they were teeny teeny tiny so that bag is probably about 11 years old <laughs> it's I've gotten my money's worth out of that but you can also throw the reusable tissues and something like that and then you can just throw empty the bag into the washing machine and just wash these separately as their own load of clothes one more thing I wanted to say about these reusable tissues. The, okay, so we know that it, it takes away the bleach from the face, it saves money, it um, helps the septic to system in the environment, it saves trees, right? But something else is the fact that, think about when you get a cold and how your nose gets so raw and red and it hurts and Oftentimes, at least for me, when I use a tissue, it burns, it makes it worse, it like dries my nose out, it's horrible, but you can use these reusable tissues and it doesn't hurt, it's soft on your face, it doesn't burn. Um, and honestly, if one of my kids has, has a, a, a runny nose that's forever leaking, leaking, leaking. They will just roll one of these up and stick it in their nose. And I, that's probably TMI, but hey, this is reality, right? Um, and it stays put and it does a great job. So that's a lot of really good uses for these reusable tissues. Um, I think that they come in handy. Okay, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video on what else you can do with these reusable tissues. Um, hop down in my description because I am going to put a link for my blog. I have a blog post about these reusable tissues and I will give you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to layer these in a wipes box so that they pop up one after another like an actual tissue box. All right, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I think you're going to find this hilarious. <laughs> we'll see you then everybody. Bye!